Okay, so, um, usually it would be Taz Wanted today, but, um, I can't really be bothered to get back to that game right now to see, check out, like, if there's anything worthy of an extra, um, you know, a, a bonus video, and I don't know what I'm going to replace it with yet, so, I'm just going to make a video that, uh, everything I just wanted to make quickly, um, so I want to talk about what I think the next generation of uh, consoles will make, be, look like, and now, while this may not seem overly important, especially for me because I'm in love with my Switch right now, and even if I have the next, the, the next Xbox, the next box, or the next box, <laughs> anyway, or the PS5, um, even if they're like the best consoles ever, I'm probably still not going to get them because even though I do, I am a multi-platform gamer and I do uh, have an Xbox One myself and I've been meaning to get a PS4 Pro, even just for completion's sake. Um, I do just adore my Switch, but um, the reason why I want to talk about this is because it could be potentially massively impactful on the Switch. Because right now, one of the main laws about the Switch is, for the first time ever, we are getting um, new AAA developed games for the Switch. Like Doom 2016 is on the Switch, and, and Doom Eternal, its sequel, has already been confirmed for the Switch. So, um, we are pretty much getting uh, current day AAA developed games on a uh, um, handheld loader system, pr most, for the most part, day and date as every other console, and, you know, Switch's handheld and console, so, you know. So, but the main reason that um, it can do that is because its power is so close to the Xbox One and PS4. It's like, obviously it's nowhere near as powerful, but it's close enough to the point where game developers don't have to make really big changes to how the game works uh, to get it work running on the Switch. Um, so, this is really important for the Switch's survival after the release of the Xbox, the next box and the PS5. Um, because if they're too powerful, and it, uh, the gap becomes too big between them, um, and it becomes a lot of work for a developer to uh, port a game from the next box and uh, uh, PS5, then a lot less games will be going to the Switch, and next to no AAA developer games uh, that are big will be le releasing day and date on the Switch, Xbox One, and PS uh, next box and PS5. And, uh, um, honestly, if it looked like that was going to happen, I would be uh, really worried for the Switch. But, I don't think that's going to happen. I think what the next generation of consoles for, well, next, next box and PS5 will look like, I don't think it'll look too different graphically. I mean, maybe it'll look a little bit more polished, but I don't think it's going to be, say... Um, N64 to GameCube level of jump, and I don't think we'll see that jump in any console ever, unless like they go from the Switch to a 4K capable console of 60 FPS. Like that, that's the only. But I don't think Nintendo's ever going to do that. While I would love to see them do that, I don't think they're ever going to do it. Um, and uh, I think what the next generation is going to look like is the Xbox One X and PS4 on. Steroids, more or less, but, you know, it wouldn't look better, but it would run better. I think that's what the next generation is going to look, be like. It. I think it's going to run better um, compared to just looking better than, you know, like, it, say we have an Xbox One, uh, Xbox One X game and the, the next box game. Put them side to side, you could probably tell the difference, but just very slightly, uh, but the FPS would be, you know, worlds apart, like the FPS would be a lot better. That's what I think, that's why I think the next generation of consoles will be. And if I am right here, this would be really good for the Switch, because then the developers would only really have to do that much more work, because, yeah, they might have to do a little bit more uh, um, op optifying with the um, frame rate and everything, but that would essentially mean then the the Switch and the Xbox, next box and PS5 would not be too distant um, power-wise to the point where um, developers would be like, "Nah, 
it's not worth putting a game on the Nintendo Switch. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's why I think it's going to look like because um, there's not really much further you can go from 4K. Like even mo even on PC, the highest you will get is 4K. You can only get 4K TV. So what, where are you going to go from 4K? Or the only place they have have to go is 4K 60 FPS because most 4K games are not not 60 FPS. And they're probably going to work on the, um, making it so that 4K games files aren't ginormous. Like file um, size optimization might be another thing in there, but I do not feel like they're going to. It's going to be like mind blowingly, you know, just like two completely different worlds. It's not like going to be like a 360 game compared to an Xbox One X game. Um, and I say Xbox One X because the Xbox One and PS4 weren't really that different from the Xbox 360 and PS3, really, when you think about it. Um, so yeah, that's what, in my opinion, I think the next generation of consoles will look like. You know, not too different, but, you know, visually, but... FPS wise, I think there's there is going to be a uh, I think there's going to be a focus on FPS rather than making 4K look better. I don't know. I mean, where do you go from 4K? I heck, most people don't even have 4K TVs anymore. Well, not anymore. They, they don't have AV TVs anymore. Um, they don't have. Most people don't have a 4K TV because they are quite expensive. So if well, if most people don't have 4K. Why? Why? Why would you go to 5K, which nobody has, like, and would make the console even more expensive than just getting 4K up to a reasonable FPS, like 60 maybe, or you know. Anyway, what do you guys think? What do you think the next generation of consoles will look like? And uh, do you agree with me that the next generation of console, uh, well, Xbox and uh, PlayStation? will focus more on FPS and uh, file size rather than um, uh, graphics. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.